Well, I'm Daniel Rowe, and uh, I'm a board-certified emergency medicine physician, and um, I'm in charge of uh, emergency services, so essentially the emergency department, and also respiratory therapy and our telemedicine program here at the Copper Queen Community Hospital in Bisbee. I basically um, make sure that the ER is staffed with the board certified physicians and make sure that our medical protocols are suitable and up to date and uh, proficient for our patients. So tell us about a stroke victim that comes to Copper Queen. The current medical therapy for stroke involves um, giving a, what we call a thrombolytic agent or a clot buster drug. Uh, to patients, but there's a very narrow time window, and generally thinking, generally speaking, it's about four hours. And so, because of that, not only does it take a very brisk response um, once they're in the emergency department, but we also coordinate with the paramedics, uh, the EMTs, and the EMS delivery system to make sure that those patients are brought here quickly and that we know they're coming. If you go into an emergency department with a stroke and there's no neurologist available, most of the time you're going to find the emergency physician hesitant to give TPA. Um, and so because of that, you tend to see TPA given a lot in urban environments, in big hospitals where the neurologist is there in the hospital, and you tend to see it given not very much in the rural environment. And so with the benefit of uh, the Mayo Clinic in Scottsdale, um, we have a um, stroke program called Telestroke. And if you or your relative comes into the hospital with a stroke, we're very quick to activate this system. And through a video conference, um, we're able to have a consultation with the Mayo neurologist within a few minutes of when you arrive in the emergency department. And the Mayo neurologist. Um, actually uh, visits with you, does a history and physical with you, uh, with the help of the emergency physician and the nurse. They talk with the family, they um, look at your lab results. We very quickly do a CAT scan that's then sent to through the system to the Mayo neurologist and he or she look at it right on their monitor and they make a prompt judgment as to whether you or your family member is a candidate for the TPA. Um, and then we have it in stock and we give it uh, immediately at that point. And so we're the only hospital uh, in southern Arizona that participates in this program and we're the only hospital in this area that routinely gives TPA to the appropriate stroke patients. So we feel good about that.